Hey guys, I am back with my second phone call. Okay, I had to admit I went a little crazy, but I got some of the books on sale because they were bargains. So, for my book haul, I got a bunch of books from different places, but first I'm going to show you guys all the books I bought from Book Outlet. If you guys have, if you guys have not heard of Book Outlet, where are you? Like seriously. Everyone on Booktube uses Book Outlet, but if you don't know what it is, it's basically this book buying website where all the books are on sale at cheap prices. And it is just so awesome. I know the shipment's not free, but the books are so cheap. So I went a little crazy and bought 12 books from Book Outlet because a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, they were doing a sale for the weekend and it was just that weekend and if you buy books, you get 10% off your order. So I went crazy and bought 12 books. So now I'm going to show you all the books, so stay tuned. So, oh and by the way, um, so basically, for this book haul, I mostly wanted to buy books that had been on my TBR list forever. And by forever, I mean books that had been on my TBR list on Goodreads ever since I first started watching BookTube, which was probably a year or two ago. So, I thought I would, don't mind my, don't mind my dog bargain. But I thought I would buy these ones because, like I said before, they've been on my TBR list forever and I haven't even read them yet. And so I figured I might as well buy the books that have been, that have been on my list the longest. Cause, and also, also because I've been dying to read all of these books for a long time. Some of them are new, some of them, like most of them are like, are old ones. So the first book I got was The Dragon Princess by Evie Baker. <sighs> If you guys don't already know, if you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are new to my channel, I am in love with the Frog Princess series by Edie Baker. It's one of my all-time favorite series. I read it when I was in middle school and I still love it. And this is the sixth book. It's sort of like a spin-off. So in the, in the original series, there's five books. The first book is The Frog Princess. And so basically it's like, yeah, this is the sixth book. It's like a spin-off of the main character's daughter. So, I am so excited to read this, and I'm also happy I bought this. It was a, it was really cheap on Book Ella, and it gives me an excuse to reread the series. And I really want to reread it, because like I said before, it's one of my favorite series of all time, and you guys have to check it out. Really quickly, I'll tell you what it's about. So, it's a fairy tale retelling of the Frog Princess. So, it's like a spin-off. No, not a spin-off. So, basically, it's about Grim, Grim Emma. In the first book, she's 14. And she goes in the castle, of course, she's a princess. And so one day she goes to the swamp, meets a frog, he tells her he's a prince, and of course she kisses him, but instead of the instead of the prince turning back into a person instead of a frog, Emma, which is the main character, the princess, she turns into a frog. And so her and the prince's name is Edric, so her and Edric go on this journey together to like try to make themselves turn back into humans. And it is just such a great series. I highly, highly recommend this series. If you guys watch my videos, I know you probably heard me talk about this series a million times, but seriously, check it out right now. It's middle grade, but it's just so, so good. If you guys love fairy tale retellings, fantasy, this series introduced me into fantasy books, so you guys are going to love it. So I highly recommend you guys to at least check out the first book, which is The Frog Princess. I'll get it for you. This is the first book, The Frog Princess. Okay, so go ch go read that. Go read the series right now and tell me what you guys think. And like I said before, so this is the sixth book. The next book is another book that has... I mean, yeah, it's another book that's been on my TBR list since I first started watching BookTube, and I haven't heard too much about it. I think I only heard of it from watching one BookTuber. The book is Hair After by Tara Hudson. Yeah, Tara Hudson. So, like I said before, this has been on my list forever. Basically, this book is about, I don't know the whole plot, but basically it's about a girl named Amelia, and, I'm and I think she's a ghost. And I, she lives in this in dark, cold water. And I think one day she rescues a boy in the water 
and he doesn't know she's a ghost or something like that, but it sounds really good. I believe, I believe it's a duology, I'm not positive. If you guys, oh, by the way, if you guys have read any of these books, please tell me what did you think. I'd love to know. So yeah, this book sounds really, really good, and I love the cover. Also, the back is really pretty, too. But yeah, this book just sounds so good. I, I'm trying to get into more paranormal, paranormal books, so this would be perfect. Here's another book that has been on my TBR list forever. And a lot of, the, a lot of these books are underrated on BookTube, I have to admit they are. So this book is Vesper is I, I believe you pronounce it Ves, I believe you pronounce it as Vesper by Jeff Sampson. I tell you this has been on my list forever. So basically it's about this girl who's a good girl and then someone in her town with the same name just got murdered. And I think I, I don't this is not a spoiler, I think it's on the back. But I think she ends up being like a murderer at night, but she doesn't know it. So she has like two different personalities in one or I don't remember something like that but it sounds really really good I've been wanting to read this for a long time so yeah and that's the cover by the way here's another book that's been on my list forever I haven't heard anything about it either unfortunately but, anyway, but these books were all cheap on book outlet so it is a big book it's called Witch World by Christopher Pike yeah, Christopher Pike it's actually a really big book I don't know if you guys could tell I don't really know too much about this book. All I know is it's about a girl. What's her name? Jessie. So it's about this girl. She goes on a road trip with her ex-boyfriend. And somehow, I think they go to Vegas. And then she meets this guy who teaches her how to gamble or something like that. And then, I don't know if he's a... I don't know. I don't know. All I know, and then I think, like... He, like, leads her into this witch world, like the title. So I don't really know too much about this book, but it's been on my list forever, so I thought I would finally pick it up and buy it. The next book is a book that it hasn't been on my list forever, but I just heard of it, and it sounds really, really good. It, and I think it's a, pretty, it's a pretty new book, I think. Maybe not. I'm not sure, but it's not old. It's called, it's Unremembered by Jessica Brody. On Book I actually found a signed copy. Um, I don't know too much about this book. All I know is the main character is on a plane, and I think the plane crashes and she survives, and she can't remember anything that happened before that. And I don't know if you guys know this already, but I love books. I love books about about memory loss. So pretty, pretty much, I love books where the main character has amnesia. Like I read, Remember Me by, Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella, I love that book. And then I just read Memoirs of Teenage Amnesic. I have a review for Emma Chill, if you guys want to check it out, that book was okay. But um, I really wanted to read more books about amnesia. And I believe this is about am amnesia. Don't tell me if I'm wrong. And I actually really like the cover, it's so simple. But it's purple, which is my favorite color. And see, so, yeah. I think this next this next book, I think it was an, it was pretty much an impulse buy because I liked the cover on Book Outlet, and I don't know too much about this book. It is Renegade by who's author? J. A. Soders. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I wanted to read more books about like underwater, the books that take place underwater. So this seems like the perfect read because it's like, I don't I don't know what the plot is actually about. All I know is it's about a girl who lives in like a dysto- dy it's like a dystopian world underwater, pretty much. But this book sounds really, really good and the cover is gorgeous. And I like the back. It says, my life is just about perfect. Don't mind if you hear my dog barking. People are over. Here's a, here's a book that's been on my list forever, and I love the cover. It is Breathe by Sarah Crossan. As you could probably tell, this is another dystopian book. Uh, all I know about this book is it's, it's a dystopian world where there's no oxygen, and so I guess people can't breathe, or they find a way to breathe and survive. So I have no idea. But I don't know. I've heard of this from some booktuber. I don't remember who, but the cover is so pretty. And yeah, and look at the back. And so, 
I don't know. It just sounds really, really good. And I cannot wait to pick this book up. This book has been on my list forever. And everyone on BookTube talks about it. I've been wanting to read this sort of series for so long now. <sighs> it was always too expensive. But luckily I found it on Book Outlet for like a really cheap price. It is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I have heard so many great things about this series. And it's fairy tale retellings. And I really want to read more fairy tale retellings of that. I think I only read like one or two fairy tale retellings, so I really want to get into the genre more. And I've been dying to read this book forever. I'm sure most of you guys have probably already read this by now. Tell me, tell me, what did you guys think? All I know is make characters a cyborg and retelling of Cinderella. That's all I know. But since it's about Cinderella, I I'm sold. I wanted to buy it because Cinderella is probably one of my favorite like fairy tale. Fairy tales or or princesses. Cinderella is probably my favorite. So yeah, I really want to read the other books too. But Book Ella didn't have the other ones, so I'll have to buy them from somewhere else. But I thought I would try Cinder first to see if I like it before I buy the other two books. And I love the cover, by the way. I love it. Um, the next book is a new book I just heard of from. I don't remember what I forgot her channel name. I think it's Lindsay Hart's books. And I remember she did like a book haul or something for this book. Well, this was in the book haul. The book is Being Friends with Boys by Kara Ellen McCoy. McVoy. Is that how you pronounce it? So the, the plot is exactly like the title. So it's Being Friends with Boys. So I guess basically it's about this girl who is the only girl in the group. So like basically... In her group of friends she's the only girl and I think like a new boy moves into her town and she ends up liking him and then one of her guy friends ends up liking her I don't know it sounds so so good I haven't heard too much about it just from Lindsay but like this book sounds really really good the next book is a book that has been on my TBR list forever to it's a fairy tale retelling. I don't know if you guys would know this book. I've seen it around on BookTube a little bit, but not too much. It's Beast Free by Alex Flynn. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but so it sounds really good. And yes, this is a movie. I don't. I'm not. I'm not planning on, on watching. Uh, I'm not planning on watching the movie. I just don't want to. I heard the movie wasn't good anyway. But yeah, it's like a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, pretty much. And there's, this author writes tons of fairy tale retellings, but I wanted to try Beastly first to see if I, if I like her running style. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the cover. It's very simple, but I just like it. The next book is another one that I've been wanting to read for a while. It seems like a light, a light cute, contemporary read. It is Express Ologist by Christina Springer. So I have my dog barking. Anyway, this book is about a girl who works in a coffee shop and she can like read people by their coffee orders or something like that. But it sounds really, really cute. So I want to, I can't wait to read it. And then the last book, the last book from Bookella is Wildfire by Carson Knight. I haven't heard too much about the sound books to be there. I hardly heard of it from like one person. But this book sounds really, really good and creepy. Doesn't it sounds just it's, it sounds creepy? It's like about this girl who lives in a who goes to a boarding school in the woods, and I think her sister is like some sort of murderer that that always watches over her. So it sounds like such a creepy read, but I need something like that because I'm trying to I'm trying to stop oh, what's the word I'm trying to be open to different genres because I mostly read contemporary, so I'm trying to get into different genres. So yeah, this some this book sounds really really good, and I love the cover. So those are all the books I bought from Book Outlet. I have other books I will be showing you guys, but I'm going to make a part two because it would have been way too long. So that's it, but guys, thank you so much for watching this long book haul. If you guys have read any of these books, please comment below and tell me what did you think. Have a great day, guys. I love you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Bye.